Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Brittany. We're paparazzi. <laughs> nice to see you guys today. We'll be airing every Thursday at 4 p.m., 4 o'clock, uh, talking about politics, celebrities, and cannabis news. Yep, and also other fun facts. We have game trivia called Guess That Strain, featuring Dana Larson, sometimes other guest show hosts as well. Would you like to explain that? Um, and so every week we'll be talking about, uh, like I said, news, celebrities, politics. Uh, we'll also have competitions between Brittany and I, the loser, which will probably be me a lot more than Brittany. We'll have to do stunts in costume. Embarrassing stunts. In public. <laughs> My favorite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so a little background about Brittany and I. We're friends for a few years now. We met in Ontario. We both are from Ontario. Worked at a bar together. Um, Jordan moved to Vancouver and a couple of weeks after I decided, hey, you want to know what? That sounds like a great idea. So packed my bags, left with $500 and hit the road to Vancouver, actually a plane, which was kind of scary <laughs> because I've never seen Vancouver before. Got off the plane, freshest air I've ever breathed. So then I worked as a waitress for a year and stumbled across the 420 rally where I saw Mark and Jody Emery speaking. And I thought I would love one day to work for them. And I added them to Facebook and Jody put a status as looking for an advertising manager, come in and talk to me. So I came down and I talked to her and got the job, was the advertising manager for two years. And that now we are we have the Metrotown Hemp Shop, which is located at 4927 Kingsway. Previous to that, we had a dispensary. Um, so I ran that for Brittany, and uh, we pulled that off really quickly. It was the idea, surfaced really fast, and uh, we opened within a month. So we opened last April. Um, we were unfortunately raided July 28th, uh, 2011. Yep. So since then, we opened the hemp store, so that took a few months to get off the ground. Um, we're both actually facing charges from that raid. I'm facing two trafficking charges, two possession, with a purpose to traffic. I believe I'm two possession and one purpose of tra for trafficking. So that was probably so far the biggest oopsie in our cannabis activist careers, but I also believe that it's going to take us somewhere and everything happens for a reason. Like if it wasn't for the dispensary being raided, we would have never opened the head shop. And we're having just as much fun working at the head shop that we were with the dispensary. It's yeah, it's a great spot um, and it's going really well. So we're happy about that. So um, we were talking about every week we have Guess That Strain, which is yeah. going to be good. So that's going to start next week. We're going to film throughout the week and cut into the videos of when it happens. So yeah, let's get started. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this week was a big week in politics. Bill C-10 was passed. Conservative government passed that. It was a vote of 159 to, I think, one, 129. 129. So, yeah. majority government. Um, Not one conservative voted against it. There was one. There was one. One voted against it. Okay. We like him. Do we know his name? I'll have to look that up. Pierre Nolan. Sorry? Pierre Nolan, Senator. From yeah. Quebec. Music Quebec. Quebec is really anti Bill C-10. Actually, I read an article recently that they're not implementing it. Yeah, they're refusing. Basically, the government is forcing each province to pay like billions of dollars, basically, um, building private prisons. Um, so Quebec is refusing. Which the positive to them, to private prisons, will it will give employment to the people of Canada. But it will also lock up tons of us for smoking a joint. How long could you potentially get? Uh, for sharing a joint, it can be classified as a trafficking charge. Even if no money is exchanged, nine months in jail. Which is, Mark Emery actually went to prison for three years, or three months, sorry, for passing a joint in Winnipeg. Winnipeg, that was the first yeah. time. That was a few years ago. So, like, it is. can actually happen. They do actually implement it. Mind you, I'm sure Mark's been charged many times before they were like, okay, you passed a joint trafficking that's still absolutely ludicrous though there's no reason why that should be happening so bill c10 really affects affects taxpayers like it's going to cost like billions of dollars to imprison people the average cost of imprisoning somebody per year is a hundred thousand dollars so the new prisons are i don't know the exact numbers of um 
how many people don't respect. That's not also like prison costs the family members of the inmates money as well to buy things from the canteen like food or proper razors and most prisons serve very unhealthy food and they sell all the apples and oranges and all the food that's good for you from the canteen so unfortunately the prisoners who can't afford anything eat like crap it's very unfortunate for them so it's just it's going to be really bad it's also really bad because after spending time in jail you have to be integrated back into the community so people serving time for non-violent crimes like trafficking or possession of marijuana have to be reintegrated back into the community and this takes like time money and serving time in jail is obviously like hard on your body it's hard on your mind and it's going to be harder to integrate these people back into the community to get a regular job yeah it's it's really unfortunate it's i feel like we took a huge step back like 50 years yeah, it's, we we are becoming America, which is a very sad thing. Even the Americans have advised our government not to do this, and they're, they still have advice on the issue. So if America is even saying this isn't working, the UN is saying your like system is very weird. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, I can't believe that this has happened. So I mean, who is this bill actually helping? Why, why, why do we do this? Why it's not this? helping anybody. It's going to put a lot of us in jail. Any of but you who smoke weed? Who is this benefiting? Somebody way higher above us is making money off the that. Prisons. That's all this is about. The prison industry is who it's benefiting. They're all going to get paid for us going to jail for passing a doobie. How long is it for plants? If you have six or more plants, it's a nine months. Nine months. It's a grocery plant. So. so, I mean, if you think six plants, it's not very much. And that can be someone's, like, personal use as, like, their medicine. Yep. I mean, our government lacks a very good system for medicinal marijuana. So, we're trying, as individuals, to change that. And people are growing their own medicine because that's their only means. And then they can serve like potentially go to jail for it. Yeah, which is terrible. Canada makes it very hard, as I'm sure most of you know, to get your MMAR. So we have tons and tons and tons of people who are going to the local Vancouver dispensaries who don't have their MMAR. And these people aren't even safe when they have doctor's notes saying, I need medicinal marijuana, and they're still getting in trouble. Instead of going on street level to people, because a lot of people don't know where to get marijuana from. So instead of going on street level, these people go to the dispensaries, feeling like there's someone safe from harm from the streets, and yet they still have the police and everything else to be afraid of. So we really need to change our system. Unfortunately, the bill just went into play, so it's going to be a while before anything can happen. The next time you vote, vote out the conservatives. And as far as MMAR goes, less than 5% of doctors in Canada will sign the forms that they need. Um, so it's it's really, people are jumping through hoops that actually deserve these parts to, um, yeah. to get it's, that. It's very hard. Like You have to be very chronically ill to get it. Um, hi to everybody in the chat that's telling yeah, us hi. hi we see you. Nice to see you guys. Thanks yeah. for watching. We'll be here every week. Um, we also wanted to say thanks to a very special friend of ours in California who actually was a big mentor to us and uh, helped us get to where we are. We want to say uh, hi to you, Kendra. Kendra Miller of Normal Women's Alliance based out of San Francisco. Thank you so much for your brilliant idea for our name, inspiring us and giving us the encouragement to go out and do it. Because you're right, we can and we're going to. And thank you so much. Yeah, we really wanted to... Um, tell you how much we appreciate you thank you okay so uh interesting news we have right here it's in black and white so sorry about that we have a picture here of a u.s soldier in afghanistan that has stumbled across some pot plants and decided it would be great and i'm not talking pot plants i'm talking fields of marijuana they thought it would be a brilliant idea to pose and point with the gun pointed to the camera with the marijuana plants. Now, problem with this number one, why are you acting like a gangster with a gun if you are a US soldier? You should not be pointing your gun beside pot plants. That is ridiculous. This is actually being, in, has a military investigation right now. Um, they actually got in trouble, as you can see. I don't know how well you can see that, but their hat is not military issue headgear. So they actually got in trouble as well for wearing a quick silver hat and not their helmet, which is, you're gonna get them in trouble, get them in trouble for pointing their gun inappropriately. 
so we have that. We have another picture here where they took the plant and they hung it from the rear view mirror, thinking that it would be a great idea to drive around Afghanistan with this pot plant hanging, <laughs> which is also, also just ridiculous. I don't really even know what to say. The American people must be so happy their tax dollars are going towards. Yeah, look what your tax dollars are going towards, guys. Some decoration in your rear view mirror. Isn't it terrible? <laughs> um, also, the, sorry, Afghani anti-drug unit has confiscated more drugs in the last year than Afghanistan has lost in a very, very long time. So thank you very much, U.S. military, for doing your solid duty in Afghanistan. We appreciate you. Yeah, support your troops. Right. Next, <laughs> we're going to get into celebrity now. So, Miley Cyrus, known stoner, coming out of the L.A. dispensary which is amazing. Miley's been known to smoke marijuana. She had a Bob Marley birthday cake, and we also all know about her little salvia experience from last year. So good up on you, Miley, for going to the dispensary. We really appreciate you. Next. Another favorite of ours. A favorite Mr. of cannabis culture. Mr. Tommy. Tommy Chong has shouted out to Mark Emery in his recent status saying, hey everyone, free Mark and have a nice day. He just returned from Mississippi at the casino where Cheech and Chong's show performed. The audience was a packed house and was mostly old stoners. Free marijuana, TC. Thanks, Tommy. We hear you. We appreciate you. Free Mark. Tommy's also been a victim of um, prohibition of marijuana in the past. Yes. Uh, went to jail. How long ago was that now? It was a while ago. He had his own bong company, and in some states it's illegal to ship bongs over state lines. I believe he went to Philadelphia. Philadelphia, I ship to. Yeah, I believe Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. So he went to jail for a year. He was in Lompoc, California, where he was able to do. He was able to do workers' camps. I'm pretty sure. So, um, Lompoc, he did workers' camps. Yeah. Yeah. So he was able to work where, unfortunately, Mark. Gardening. gardening, which is great. <laughs> Horticulture. <laughs> On to the next one. So we have Rihanna. She is worldwide famous, biggest pop superstar on the planet right now. I don't think that there is any bigger. Smoking a blunt. Amazing. I love it. There was it. a few shots of her, I think, when she was in Hawaii the last time. Yep. Smoking. Yep. Smoking a lot of blunts. She also has her birthday cake from her recent 24th birthday right here, where she is straddling a joints in a very scandally clad outfit, which is also amazing. And Rihanna is also one to tweet about 420 all the time. If you follow her on Twitter, every other tweet is, oh, I deleted one too many, pound 420. It's all great. She is honestly, I love her, I support her, stoner, amazing. She's really awesome. Yeah, so great music too. Yeah. Um, so there is a case going on right now. It's in trial right now. It's kind of similar to our case, so it's kind of interesting to both of us. Um, there was a raid of an apartment. I guess it was last, it was in 2009. And there was a guy, this is on the island, I don't want to say his name, uh, just for personal reasons. Um, he was caught um, baking with marijuana for a dispensary. So he was charged with um, a PPT of THC and also unlawful possession. So he's in court right now, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens with his case, because I think it could be similar to our case um, when our trial goes next year. Yeah, we also we have a very long time for our trial. We're good until May 2013 is when it starts. So I feel like it's long enough away that we might have enough marijuana cases pushing the system, especially when this new vote comes into play, that it might help us out in some way. We're trying to stay as positive as we can, but this case here will definitely give us something to look to as reference. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay. All right, guys, well, I guess that's all we have for today. And uh, we'll be back next Thursday when we'll have Guess That Strain. Yep. And uh, stay tuned for um, our costume of choice. Our antics. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be really fun. Sorry that this show was so short. It's just, it's our first show, so we're kind of just going with it for now. Next week, we're going to have Dana featuring. It's going to be a great show. We might even be able to squeeze in a 
trivia or prank to someone yeah. downstairs in the store. We have tons of fun stuff going on that we're going to plan. So we hope to see you next week. We also want. Hi, everyone. Hi Thanks so much for walking, watching. We appreciate it. Cool. Hi, Sweden. Wow. Thanks so Sweden. much for Thank staying you. up. We also wanted to uh, encourage our viewers to watch or to email us. It's Jordan at paparazzi.ca or Brittany Ann at paparazzi.ca. So we'll be answering any questions you have via email on our um, on our show during the week. Also, it's three minutes to four twenty, so we might just stay on here. <laughs> yeah, let's push it. Do I have a doobie anywhere? There was one. No, it's somewhere. Oh, doobie list. <laughs> doobie list. <laughs> Bring the doobie. Bring the doobie. Say hi to Marijuana Man, everybody. Here he is producing and Thank filming. Thank you so much. Thank you for so much. Us. We appreciate it. Glad you guys could all tune in today to see the ladies' first show. It's Yay. been fun. We're uh, thrilled to have them on on TV and uh, tune in next Thursday. Next and, Thursday uh, at four. Be more, I'm so. really excited for guests. That's Happy right. 420. Happy 420. Happy 420, everybody. Oh, it's only 417. So we're, like, uh, we're a little premature, but that's okay. So, um, how well do you think you're going to do at Guess That Straight? No, I what's, know. What's, I'm your, not <laughs> what, what's your marijuana knowledge? I think that our viewers. Well, like I did work at the dispensary. Right. <laughs> she did. Mind you, I've been smoking weed. It's just, I'm just curious. Do you, are you afraid of what's going to happen to you? I'm not afraid. We have um, a very good friend of ours designing us outfits to wear. Karina um, Gonzalez at Philosophy Pink, amazing seamstress. Ryan's inspired. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan over at the Metro Town Hemp Shop. We love you. Thank you for yeah, all your support. Thank you for working today. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Sorry to make you work. Um, I, I'm, not a, I'm not nervous. You're not okay. nervous. Anyone that knows me knows I'm uh, I really love fashion, so it's going to be hard for me to wear an outfit that <laughs> is, is um, completely inappropriate. So inappropriate, <laughs> so off the hook. So. Uh, I, I don't know. I am. Are you a little nervous? I'm probably gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we will. We'll be okay. Yeah, Especially be with Dana. He he also knows that I have a pretty extensive strain knowledge. I hope he gives you a cross. Yeah. He's gonna give us, then you're totally screwed. Like, no, you will be screwed. Never you will have screwed. the cross. Because then, if we both lose, then we both have to go and do it something. Yeah. Should we do it separately or should we do it I together? I think we should do it separately. I think if it was together, it would be a little less embarrassing, though. Yeah. And we would laugh the whole time. So we have one minute to 420. We're very excited. Yeah. I also want to say hi to my dad. Hi, hi Jordan's dad. dad. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Brittany. <laughs> Who else is out there? 45 viewers. Thank you so much yeah, for tuning in, guys. We can't wait until next Thursday, honestly, when we get guys on stream. We're live from Cannabis Culture Headquarters in Vancouver, British Columbia. It is 4.19 p.m. We are waiting for 4.20. And then once we're done, we are out of here until next week. 4.20! Yay! Happy 4.20! Yay! Happy 4.20! Yay! All right, have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. And we will see you next week at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern.